Yes. This is the management report for the uh, year 1989, fiscal year 1989, and this is something that uh, Joe, of course, has been instrumental in working on. Jerry Rizzo, the associate director for management and also chief financial officer. This is a little advanced, isn't it? It's for 89. Just right along with the budget, Mr. President. Remember when we started six, seven years ago? Yeah. And this whole program that you initiated? All financial accounting systems are going in this year. All the personnel payroll systems, all the productivity programs, uh, the whole thing is going to be implemented in place as you are leaving the government. So the whole Reform 88 project, when we call it Reform 88, there was a good reason for it. And that is that Ronald Reagan leaves, that what he's going to do is put in a better government. Well, that's all that. Sure. And then we are going to come in with a report to you in August on what guidance that you're going to give in the future <coughs> on the government in the future. You mentioned that in the State of the Union. And so we'll have it for you in August. We'll, you'll have three or four months to take a look at it and then decide the Reagan legacy and how you want to apply the year 2000. Mr. President, as we've talked before, this is the kind of legacy that's very difficult for a successor to, to mess up. I mean, if you've got the right kind of management in place and you have a culture there that is committed to productivity improvements and, um, and, and, and not being wasteful of the taxpayers' money, it takes a long time to change that culture. By the way, Mr. President, remember the, the IGs that you put together? We, they just finished up this last report to you. $110 billion saved. Saved already? Or is it's it all, just no, 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 it's already done. By the time that you leave, it'll be about $125 billion. That's a nice round figure. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. That's great. Perfect. Well, listen, thank you very much. Thank you all. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Well, that is the end part of OMB, and we're very proud of, uh, of pushing that very hard. Well, this ought to be something but, that. Uh, our candidates ought to know about in the coming election, too. You yes. started it. You started right. it. And you we gave us support when needed. Thank you, Mr. President. Yes. All right. Well, thank, thank you. you. Sir. All right. See you now. Okay. All right. Mr. James, too. Yes, I'm Rand Duke. I'm glad to see you. Well, nice sure to see glad you. to see you. You bet. Appreciate you having us in here today. Well, Mr. thank President you. Jason. Mr. President. Great pleasure meeting you, sir. Well, nice to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. Mr. Sherman Gray. How do you do, sir? Hello there. See you. Uh, Mr. John Poston. Mr. President, great to meet you. Mr. George Hickson. I'm Mr. President. Hi. How nice to see you, sir. Mr. William Spencer. Hello, Mr. President. Hi. My cellmate, Riston, sends his best. <laughs> Mr. Richard Carlsberg. Hi. Greetings from Hello. the Grand Chair. Well. The Great Boot. Mr. Richard Moore. Hello. How do you do, sir? Mr. Howard Pollock. Hi, Mr. President. Hello. I was the first Republican congressman for Alaska. And well. I'm just great to see you. Well, God good bless to see you. you. Mr. Lowell Mayer. Mr. President. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You I guess I better get in here someplace. No, yeah. I can't think of a better place. Did that look like a strike? Yeah. Be good. If I got Do we need to close in more? Out of the picture? Yeah, you bet. Come on, smile, you guys. <laughs> yeah, just think about how old all these people look, didn't they? All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, let me express my thanks not only to myself, but for everybody in this country for all that you do to preserve the the great beauty that made this. Well, we appreciate you taking I know this isn't all that you've got to do today. <laughs> <laughs> but I do appreciate you taking the time to do this. We've got two or three things we want to leave with you on this particular occasion. But, excuse me, I'm a surgeon, and one of those things go off. I always think I'm being paid. That's my paper written on my back. 
I'd like to give you this. Uh, this is our centennial print, and Bob Coon, one of our members, did this for us. And uh, this is a pretty special one, I think. And of course, the five mm -hmm. represents, I guess you probably know that the reason Roosevelt started this whole organization 100 years ago was because that group recognized the commercial killing of big game and the near loss of uh, Yellowstone Park is what got them going. Then they went ahead and developed the whole national park system, the national wildlife refuge system, and all that. And this is a history of it. And this is the American Crusade of Wildlife is really a history of the club. And uh, That's great. The, now this I know you've got a lot of time to watch. You probably don't know I'm a, I'm a doc. I was a surgeon in Houston and I do a lot of medical television. But this is a fun, this has to do with the Boone and Crockett Centennial Project. We, much to the uh, efforts of that man right next to you, we bought a 6,000 acre ranch just south of Glacier National Park. We're running it as a cattle ranch, but we're also funding the Chair of Wildlife Research at the University of Montana, and we're endowing that research because what our goal is, is you know, man's here. So we gotta help, and man's got needs. But so do the wildlife. We're going to try and deal with those delicate issues that just can't, others won't deal with. Well, but the trouble with this is it's got a lot of me on it. But anyway, <laughs> it'll explain to you what it's about. And so when you haven't got anything else to worry about, you can go back. And yeah, we'll and appreciate your contribution, too. <laughs> 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 Much to do today, except to uh, thought maybe you might like some souvenirs. These are our key rings with the great seal. Well, I appreciate that, sir. Thank you very much. Should have a, and particularly as it's fitting, one there should be a souvenir for this particular group Thank you. in this particular place, because not only did Teddy do that, but uh, played a hand in this very office. Uh, he was never served in this office; it didn't exist. But this is kind of a copy of a room that's up in the residential part of the White House there. Uh, that used to be, in the old days, uh, the President's office. Because the White House was both executive office building and residence. Until one day, Mrs. Teddy Roosevelt said to her husband, if I'm going to raise six kids in this place, you're going to get your people out of here. <laughs> and, uh, Nothing much has changed. The result was the West Wing and, uh, and this office, although he never got to serve in this one. <laughs> Mr. President, one other thing that we could not produce for you today, though it is, you know, it's sort of, it's, if you, were, if you were my patient, you wouldn't like this. But of course, with this other thing, Mr. Bayer right there behind you, he's a local uh, he's he ready as a residential area, and this, I mean, he's a resident of this area. But as a commemorative issue of this whole centennial celebration, we've had a Mr. Schreiber, Robert Schreiber, who's one of the top wildlife artists. Well, he's kin to Jackson, and you've got two of Harry Jackson's. Brothers. Well, I know he knows about <laughs> Harry. Well, I'll read Harry's a good buddy of mine, too. And I said, I'm yes, sorry. I, mean, I won't tell you where he called me and Cody, but he woke me up early in the morning. And we have had this uh, statue of uh, Roosevelt Commission, uh, bronze, and uh, there will be a hundred. And we will, if you, I already talked to that uh, totally over here about how to get it to you, but we want you to have one of our centennial no. editions of TR, the conservation. And put well, it in the room. On, on the Roosevelt horse, room. On horseback in buckskins and his old floppy hat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've got a ranch down there in the Santa Ynez Mountains that uh, is quite a chunk of nature. Mm -hmm. We're keeping it that way. Okay. Some people are not so happy about that. I remember when we first were there with Secret Service and up on a hill looking down where they cover a lot of territory, they set one of the posts and a little camp chair up there where the man on duty would come and sit there and keep everybody one in mind, and that one day he came down, his eyes were rather large. He didn't know whether what he'd seen was correct or not. He'd been sitting up there in the chair and a mountain lion strolled by. <laughs> <laughs> he just sat and let him stroll. Not a bad one. That's one, that's one good option. He didn't yes. ask for identification. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. We appreciate so much, Mr. President. Uh,
God bless you. We're really proud of you. Thank 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 you. You know Park Myers? Park Myers, he's El Presidente of the Rancheros. Oh, yeah. He's invited me to go this year. I belong to the spinoff in Texas. Good to see you. Thank you again for your time. President, Ambassador, Mrs. Mansfield? Yes. Hello. Hi. President. Hi. How are you? Nice to see you again. Well, it's good to see you again. Quite an honor to see you. Hello. I sure do. Hello. Nice to see you. Hello. I'm glad to see you. Restored health? Restored health. Well, ten pounds, but I was putting too much on. You look well. I feel good, except I'm having a little... Thing here. Oh, well, that's the air. <laughs> well, listen, I think this is 50 years of service to one of government service. And it doesn't seem like that's a suitable size pin for 50 years of service, but that's what the government does anyway. This is 50 years of bureaucracy, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer to think of public service. <laughs> but, well, thank you very much. You. Can't do anything about time, only a minute. Uh, appreciate it. Well, thank you very much. You take care of yourself. Yeah. Oh, I meant to do the rest of the day. Now you do it. <laughs> Say it well. I sure you will, but now I'm not sure. Here's a little present for you. Don't drop it, it's glass. Oh, oh, oh. Right. So I carry it. Well, it's heavy. Heavy? She's stronger than I am in the morning. Next week, when, that, when you get to walking and so forth. Yeah. Well, Mr. President, thank you very much. Thank you for your support and uh, encouragement. Thank you for these precious gifts, and thank you for the opportunity, unexpected, yeah. and the honor, to meet with you uh, on this occasion. You're pretty busy, not going to take any of your time. Well, thank you so long, and thank you again. Well, thank Give you. Give our best to Nancy. I sure will. Bless you.